banjo lives. saying it's a good thing we had uh, nice we good thing that we added bluegrass to the camp which is true we started out as the Swanee uh, what was it the, the Swanee Valley old time banjo camp and uh, every, you know we added one bluegrass instructor and then the next year we had two and then we had three and then so on so oh anyway uh, uh, so, um, I should probably introduce my number. Um, so, uh, I'm going to start out, uh, I, I had the great uh, privilege of uh, uh, collecting and getting to know uh, musicians in a little place in Canada called Prince Edward Island, which is uh, off the eastern coast. Uh, it's about uh, probably 250 miles due east of Bangor, Maine or maybe more, maybe 400 miles. And, uh, and the music is a little, uh, well, it's its own thing, but it's a mixture of Irish, Scottish, and French influences. And uh, I picked up from some players the uh, practice of playing music in the form of Scottish sets, which are uh, mixtures of different kinds of tunes blended together in a musical tapestry and it's a style of performance that was uh, created by uh, a late 19th century early 20th uh, fiddling great named James Scott Skinner one of the first fiddlers to record of any type and, and therefore very influential in all genres so uh, a very typical Scottish set is uh, uh, an air followed by a march, I'm sorry, an air followed by a stress bay, and then a reel or two, so that's what we have here. And I'll start with a tune called Farewell to Kill a Cranky, which refers to uh, a battle taking place in the rebellion of 1745, you remember that one. <laughs> that was the, the Bonnie Prince Charlie rebellion. Who is he, they're saying. And uh, going into uh, um, a Strath's Bay called the Rothy Mercus Rant. Uh, Rothy Mercus is a forest in Scotland. And then the reels are Bonnie Lass of Fishero and uh, Kohler's Hornpipe. Kohler was a German composer living in Edinburgh in the late 19th century who tried his hand at composing in the local idiom. Thank <laughs> you. 